everyone. Welcome to Sweet Tomato Vine Homestead. I'm Linda, and today I am out here at the chicken coop, and I am about to check on the chickens, give them some food, and to see if I have any eggs. The chickens are still eating their eggs. At least, I can't put it on everyone in here, but I caught Blanche yesterday eating an egg. So, yeah, we already having a... a decrease in production <laughs> and she's eating i don't know who else is eating because as i told you all i dropped the egg it was my fault and they all pounced on it well i don't know if everyone got a chance to taste it but most of them did taste the egg and so since then i've been having some uh eggs bust in the coop and the insides have been eaten even some of the shell has been eaten but I'm going to go in here. I'm going to feed them. I'm going to check and see if we have any eggs. I got my little basket, so I won't drop any. And also, in today's video, I will be uh, doing some more of my winter sowing, y'all. I have made up my mind that I want to winter sow a lot of my uh, seeds this year. I do not want to have to have so many. I still will have some that I will be uh, putting inside under the grow lights, but as I told you all last year, I had uh, too many. So I don't want to have that many and have uh, those plants all over the house. I want to have them in uh, one or two or three selected areas and be able to do it like that. So anyway, y'all, let's get started. Let's get started. I'm excited about planting those seeds. I am so excited. You know, a lot of people like diamonds and pearls. Y'all, just give me some seeds. I'm good. I'm good with seeds. All right, let's get started. Let's see what they got in this coop today. Hey girls and guys. Excuse me, I'm coming in, I'm coming in. Nobody's coming out. I think I better get my shovel. I see they still kind of treating uh, Henrietta like an outcast. She's, I guess, at the bottom of the uh, pecking order because she is kind of, they pushed her back. So there's plenty of food, though. She'll still be able to eat something. Sometimes I just go ahead and put some over there, but I found out if you just go ahead and throw some food, they all come running to that if you try to throw some to, you know, feed a chicken. So it's just a natural pecking order, so really can't do anything about it but yeah we're gonna go here and start planting some seeds oh i was able to get five nice eggs 
Thank y'all for the eggs. Okay, I wanted to show you all this leek that I planted after I harvested it. I took the roots and put them back in there. If you watched my video about a week or more ago, and this is the growth that is on there. And it was cut back all the way to here. So that's pretty amazing. Okay, I also want to show you this broccoli head. This is not the broccolini. This is a head of broccoli. So I'm excited about this. And the cabbages are beginning to quickly head up because this one here is nice and firm. Okay, I went in the house to take the eggs, and when I came back, I could hear a hen in the hen house uh, laying an egg. And so I went to see who it was, and I thought it was Blanche, because Blanche was not out in the chicken run. But when I got over there, Blanche came running down from the chicken house, but I opened the door, and uh, Thelma was in there. She's laying an egg. And so I guess Blanche is checking to see, like, okay, are you through? Because she thinks she's going to eat the egg. So now I got to be trying to watch for when they, because they still laying eggs. I just got five, but uh, Thelma, you can hear her now. That's the laying sound. And so um, I'm going back out there to get those eggs. So we're going to be in a race for the eggs. But I got my jugs, y'all. I already got one that I cut. I'm just using my scissors this time. So I got different types of jugs. But what I'm going to be planting, I have some herbs I'm going to be planting. And I bought out a lot of seeds. I'm not going to be able to do all of these today on this video. But some of the main ones that I want to do are in this little bag. And there are some basils. I have a variety of basils, y'all. I enjoy the basil uh, herbs in tea. So I have some Thai basil. That is the Thai. I have cinnamon basil. And I have some purple dark opal basil. So those are the basils that I'm going to be planting. And then I have, oh, I have some holy basil. I'm going to plant that also. And then I have some rosemary that I'm going to plant. So that is five. And I've got five jugs. So I'm going to have to find another jug because I'm going to also plant some oregano but I also want to show you all some of the other things that I plan to plant and do into my winter sowing and one of them hopefully I, I might go ahead and do these today this is my lantana this is those flowers uh lantana flowers and I ordered these seeds from Amazon and I love lantana, and I haven't had lantana in my garden in a while. And I was watching, um, so I was watch I saw it on a video, but I just it just brought it back to my memory how much I love lantana in the garden. So I am going to go ahead and I'm going to plant some lantana seeds. And y'all, I gotta go and look and see how many rutabagas I have in this garden. I don't, I think they're over in that uh, area behind me where those um, blue and white five gallon buckets are. I think, I, I hope I have some because I harvested one the other day. It was so delicious. You know, I love turnip bottoms. And um, to me, those rutabagas taste similar to those turnips. So if you love turnips and you never had rutabagas, uh, those rutabagas taste like turnips. Similar. not They're not as uh, strong in flavor, but they are delicious. They have a similar flavor. So I love those. And so I have some rutabaga seeds that I am going to find uh, somewhere out here today 
to plant me some rutabagas and you all see how huge they get so i i'm gonna have to um i really i think i might win or so some i might win or so some but because it takes uh Rutabaga some a while to grow. So I'll probably go ahead and just winter sow some and uh, deal with it however many I got in the garden. Or I'll probably, I think I'll put one or two out here also because I need this back in my life. I don't want to go buy it from the store. I need this again real, real soon. But I'm going to plant some of those in winter sow. So y'all can see I do not have enough jugs. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to plant with my um, original plan, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put these in, and then I'll do my herbs until I run out of jugs. And so that's what we're gonna do. So let's get started. I have started cutting on my jug. This is not easy to do with this. I could not find what I, my preferred, tool to use. I poke a hole in here and then I'm just gonna go around until I get to where I want to stop. Because what you're doing is making this container have a hinge. And you don't want to go too far. If you go too far, okay, so now I got a hinge. So we're just gonna finish these. Okay, so I've gotten the um, jugs cut. I only got four because one of them was extra hard to cut. It was a different jug, so I'm gonna have to have something else to cut it, but I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna do these four. And so I got my potting or seedling mix back here. Got me some rain water. And someone asked if we could, if I could just go ahead, put the, without cutting, put the um, a funnel up here and put the soil inside through the funnel. That might work. The only problem would be if I were gonna do just one seed or maybe two seeds and you could drop your seeds in there, but you gotta have a way to get your seeds in. So if you were using a smaller bottle and you were gonna just try to do one or two plants, that might work. But if I'm trying to do 10, 15, then all of my seeds are more than likely gonna go and land close to the same spot. And then, you know, you got a congested, um, some root systems congested in there. So I prefer this method, but you could go ahead and try that and it might work if you're gonna do one or two seeds. So that is some, that was the idea that someone had. Oh, we have to put some drain holes in this thing. And that might be a problem with these, so. Let's see. Okay, so the way that I'm gonna do the drain holes is to just take these. Cause you don't wanna get cut while you're doing this. So, I've just gone around and see, I've ended up with some, with some holes. Can you see those holes? I got them. There's one right there. So I've got one on each corner, I think. Let me see. I don't see one right here. Each side. And you can see I got one right there because my uh I really need one in the center. See which way is the best way to go. Don't have one in the center. I'm gonna have to get another tool. Okay, so I went and got another knife and I'm going to make sure that I have a drain hole in the center. That just would make me feel more comfortable. Y'all, this stuff is not cooperating today. I, that's why I, I like these jugs like this. I really do like these. So I'm gonna have to try and get more of these because they don't give me all these problems like this here. Little jug here. So let me see. Let me see before I say it though. Okay, there's a hole. I'm gonna poke it and I'm gonna twist it and turn it. 
There's another hole. Y'all probably don't want to see me. Well, everybody don't want to see me. Some people need to see this because you might have some problems. So we're going to figure out some solutions to these problems. So we got this here. I'm, that was, was going to be a mistake. <laughs> that was going to be a what not to do. So, yeah, let's, let's uh, keep this safe. Okay, so now I got it in there and I'm at the bottom, right in the center. So I got a nice drain hole. I got about four on each, one on each side. Got one in the center. So that is one good one. And then this one, we got, why is it so hard? Okay, maybe I'm poking in the wrong place. I am gonna go from the bottom and poke this hole like that. I was trying to get it in the center, but the center is like they doubled up on the plastic. I guess, you know, make it sit upright on, on the shelf. So, not a bad thing. Just when you get ready to try to use it as a winter sew method. So, we're going to go ahead and now get the rest of these done. Since I kind of figured it out, we figured it out together. And, um, just putting it in here and twisting it because you need these drain holes you don't want this to just sit up and just be you know have water floating in your container all winter you want to make sure that it's draining properly okay i had to do that one y'all i had to just go ahead it's got holes at the bottom so we got three and that's we're gonna have four because that other one and I'm not finna battle with that one right now. So I am gonna get me some more uh, jugs because I have a lot, as I told you all, I plan. Oh, water trying to go to my seeds, y'all. Water trying to go to my seeds. This is real, this is real life. This is the way it, it goes sometimes. You know, I'm okay with this, you know, because that's not that bad, that's not bad. I might edit some of it out, but I doubt it. All right, so we got a lot of holes in that one. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're going to add some soil. And I really need to kind of moisten my soil some more because my soil is a little dry down here. Moisten it and kind of stir it around a little. Not real dry, but it's dry. It's not like I want it. But it's going to be best to go ahead and start with some moist soil. Because y'all know how this uh, starter mix, the seed starter mix, is, you know, has a tendency to be pretty dry. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, and I just got my, uh, uh, my seed started mixing one of these containers. So I'm just gonna go ahead now and fill my jug with my mix. Oh, and another question someone asked about uh, the winter sow method was, uh, could you use just potting soil? I don't, I don't think it's uh, gonna be good to use a potting soil because we know when we start the seeds, the seeds already have everything that they need to germinate. So that's why we don't, uh, we, one thing when you start your seedlings, you don't uh, put them under the light until they actually have germinated and you don't add fertilizer until they have their first true leaves. So this, it's the same, you know, we're gonna have these out and they're gonna be in the open. So what they're doing, and this method has been proven, it works. They're gonna be already acclimated once they're up. So a few things did change. You won't have to acclimate these plants. You will be able to go ahead and put these plants out in your garden immediately. 
So that is awesome, y'all, because you know, with the plants that you do inside, you have to acclimate them. You're running in and out, putting them out, letting them get a little sun, letting them get a little of the feel of what the temperature is, and then you take them back inside to where they were uh, growing safely. And putting them out without acclimating them could cause them to uh, go into shock and you lose your seedlings. So things can change on this method. I'm not sure if that is one, but I am going to try it. <laughs> I'm going to try it. I'm going to experiment with it. I'm going to try it with uh, some seed and it won't be today because I only have a few jugs, but I will try it. I will do it on video. We will keep a um, record of the one that we do. But for now, since I do have some seedlings, seed starting mix, I will go ahead and I'll use the seed starting mix. But we're not taking that idea off the table because of the fact that some things are actually changing on this method from what you do when you're inside, like the light. So we'll see. We'll work on that. Right now, we're going to go ahead and we're going to fill as much as we need to fill. I'm not going to completely fill it up because we don't need it full. Just need enough soil in here to have some uh, seedlings to grow. And we want their roots to have somewhere to go also. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to water Moisten the soil some more. Give the soil a chance to be moist and settled. But what I can do is I can kind of pack this down some to kind of help to get it, you know, where I want it to uh, produce or or create a nice firm area where there are, you still don't want to have any uh air pockets because you want these roots to be able to have somewhere to go you don't want to pack too much where the roots can't um do what they need to do but you want it to be a firm foundation Okay, so now we got our nice soil, moist, moistened soil. Yeah, I have my labels. So let's go ahead and I really want to grow this lantana, y'all. So let's go ahead and put this lantana. We're gonna put this lantana in this jug right here. I'm going to open these where I don't have to worry about losing any seeds out. I'm just going to open on the corner. This, this, the spider had got on me, y'all. So that's one thing about being in the garden. You will get some chances to deal with some wildlife and insects. So If you're afraid of them, if you be in the garden for a while, you will kind of get used to them. You won't be so afraid of everything. So that's a good reason to garden. If you're afraid of everything, get out of the garden and you'll soon not be afraid of everything because you'll see so many different insects and bugs and you'll learn about them because you, you'll learn what the names of the different bugs are. Okay, this is what the lantana seeds are looking like. I don't want to put too many in there. And you know, sometimes it's good to uh, soak your seeds. But with this method, we're not going to worry about soaking any seeds because these are going to get soaked all winter long. So we're going to, because these are, these seem like some pretty hard little seeds. In some cases, you could even crush your seeds some, but we're not going to do any of that either. We're just going to plant them. And um, that's about, Nine, get, get another one, put 10 in there. 
Had me 10. Ooh, that's that's more than 10. Okay, so now I'm just going to put them in here. And I'm just going to put them on top of the soil and just give them a little push. Got a leaf in here. Let me get it out because I don't want it obstructing the growth of my seedling. That's why I'm using seedling mix too is because these are um, seeds and you're starting them uh, in fresh seed starting mix that don't supposed to have a lot of uh, rocks or wood and you know sometimes some of the potting mixes can have a lot of rocks and wood and things like that in there that can uh keep your seedling from growing really good so i'm just gonna put a see if i can find some of this soil that is not so moist and i'm just gonna take some of it and i'm just gonna crumble it over the top Make me a label. Okay, this is my lantana. And if you have never grown lantana, uh, do your research on lantana. It's something that you might like. And they are one that will uh, bloom up until winter. I've seen some porches that still have lantana that is blooming on them here in early December. Okay, here is the next thing is getting this tape around here. I got some clear tape today. have to go around again with this one. The main thing that you want is for this to hold this together. Okay, not perfect. I'm going to write what it is on the outside also. And that's one ready. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and start on my basil. And I'm going to start with this cinnamon basil. And what I'm going to be doing with these, because these seeds are so, so tiny, I'm just going to sprinkle some on top. So I got to make sure my hand is dry. I'm going to put these in my hand first. So I won't put too many seeds in here. And now I'm going to sprinkle them on top. And now I'm going to water it in a little since those seeds were so tiny. I'm not going to put any soil on top, so I'm going to put the water on just to kind of wash them down a little. And 
And that was the cinnamon basil. Okay, now let's see if I can get this one to go around this one since that container is kind of wet. Tape to stick. Okay, so that one's holding up pretty good, y'all. This is packaging tape, so it is best to use the duct tape. So if you have duct tape, use duct tape, but this is what I have right now. So now we're going to move on to our next container. I'm going to get those leaves out. I could go ahead and moisten my soil again. I want these seeds to be able to stick to this soil really good and then i won't have to go back and water them later okay so this is the purple dark opal basil Sprinkle them on top. And since I already uh, moistened my soil really good, I don't have to worry about watering this again. Because I feel like my soil and my seeds have made good contact now since it was moist. So this is the purple basil. Y'all, I have so many different uh, plants that are seeds that I am going to be planting using this method. Uh, some that I have never grown before because y'all believe it or not, I have never grown tomatillo before. And I am going to grow some tomatillos this year. So I have some tomatillo seeds already. I think I may have showed them to you all, but if I did not, I will show them to you right now. When you use this, if you end up using masking tape because that's all you might have at the moment, just fold your end over like this so that you won't have to be trying to go back in and figure out where your starting point is on your tape. Okay, I'm going to fold these over and I'm going to show you all these seeds that I probably already showed you all, but I'll show it to you again. Those are my tomatillo seeds and so I will be Starting some of these in this method also. Let me see what else I got in here that I may not have showed you all. Because um, I will be doing some, I got two different deals. I have a deal mammoth, and that's that right there. There's no picture. But I have a deal bouquet. And I'll be doing some of those. Uh, some chamomile. I'm going to be doing my cabbages. I showed you all these cabbages. That's the uh, Copenhagen. This is the Red Acre and the Golden Acre. I'll be doing those. I also will be doing some Thai basil. I, I think I'm going to go ahead and do the Thai basil. No, I'm not. I'm going to do the rosemary. I'm going to do the rosemary right now. So that's what's going to be in this last container. But I have some Thai basil. This is what it looks like. And some um, 
This is holy basil. I don't know if I showed it to you all or not. Just did the cinnamon basil. I just did the purple basil. And these, these are my rutabaga seeds, which I will be doing some of those in the winter so method. And I will be doing some of those in this garden out here today. Okay, so got this one finished. And this is the purple basil. And I said that this last one is going to be the rosemary. And you all know that rosemary can be uh, pretty hard to germinate. At least it has been for me. Last year, I had, I, I planted a lot. And I probably did, I think that was one of those 12 cells. And I ended up with one that germinated. And then I purchased a start. Because... I had poor germination and I love rosemary. I wanted rosemary uh, in that garden. So I ended up with two or three rosemary plants. Can't remember exactly. I think I got, I think I got three, not sure. But um, I wanted rosemary, so I purchased some starts. Oh. So this year, hopefully we won't have to deal with that. But one thing that I did uh, do in the winter sow method that I'm really happy about, and that is my uh, globe artichoke. And it's doing real well right now. Okay, let me plant quite a few of those seeds. I'm gonna save some seeds to also just uh, go over here and drop. Okay, so. Now we have our rosemary plant. I'm gonna go ahead and make a label for that. Happy about having that in this winter sow method because last year I did not uh, do any of my herbs in the winter sow method. So I am happy about having some herbs planted in the winter sow method. I should have um, went ahead and put these in my notes so I'll know what I have out here and I won't have to come and look. And uh, if you have not uh, started doing notes, I haven't really started doing them and keeping my notes up really good. So let's start trying to keep notes of what we planted, what we, you know, so we'll have records to know what we have done. You know, not nothing fancy. I just want to, you know, just go in there and write it on a calendar or something. That uh, Today I went and sold some rosemary and, you know, write it on, get a desk calendar or, or a garden, garden journal. Nothing fancy, because I'm not going to keep up with anything fancy. I, I, if I get something fancy, I'm going to probably write on one time. But if I put a desk uh, calendar on my desk, then I think I'll probably uh, keep up with that. So I think that's what I'll, I'll get is a desk calendar. And I just need to keep up with some, have some record. I have records of, you know, my videos. I can go back and look at those, but sometimes that's not always convenient. But a uh, desk calendar will be very convenient. Okay, so I'm just going to write rosemary on here. So we have four containers winter sold for today. And I'm going to find a spot to plant my rutabagas. Okay, so I found a spot. And this is where I'm going to put them right here. I got my label. I'm just going to work my soil a little bit. And these seeds are going to be small. These are some seeds that are like most brassica seeds. Tiny. Look like, some, look like your mustard greens. And I'm not going to put a whole lot in here, but I am going to put a few in there. So in case they, uh, germ, you know, have problems germinating, then I will. And I don't have to really do anything to this. I'm just going to just move it around just a little. And matter of fact, I got so many seeds in here, I can drop a few more. And when they germinate, I can uh, just move them to other spots in the garden. Because y'all, they were good. That, that rutabaga is delicious. It is to me, because I love turnip and turnip bottom. So I cook the greens also. The leaves, I use the leaves off the rutabaga.
And I decided I'm gonna move my other winter soul jugs on this side because they'll be able to get more sunlight. I don't, I don't believe those are getting enough sunlight where I got them behind the chicken houses. I think I need to bring them on this side. Okay, so now they'll be able to get plenty of sunlight over here and they'll be able to get the adequate rain, water or snow or whatever we have falling this winter. Okay, so this area is gonna end up filled I still have some room where I can take some behind where I see that there is sun right over here. You know, I want to make sure there's sun getting to them. Okay, now I'm going back inside this chicken run to see if there are any eggs. I do not have a basket, but I don't think they've laid more than what I can carry in my pocket. I will be uh, taking them straight in the house this time instead of trying to stay outside and work and break eggs in the pocket. Okay, she's still in here, but I don't know what she's still doing. That, it don't take that long to lay no egg. Get off that egg, girl, give it an egg. Y'all, she trying to hoard this egg. It's warm too, she just laid it. Yeah, you can come, look, and Blanche back in here. Blanche, you laying an egg or are you playing with me? Okay, I, I gotta check up on her. She might try to act lean, but she gotta get it up if she got one. Let me see, girl, let me, let me see. You don't have no egg, you was just out. Blanche thinks she's smart. I think she was staying in here and she waiting, cause she had been checking like she was trying to see if Thelma was finished laying the egg. And I think she was gonna wait till she laid it and she gonna eat it, but. Now she's just in there sitting. I don't hear no chicken laying egg sound, but I'm gonna check over here on the other side. Well, she didn't come out, so she may be trying to lay an egg. But... At least I got this one. She won't be eating this one. that you all have enjoyed this video today and that you give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already subscribed and go ahead and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever i upload a new video and as always thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video